Hello, welcome back to Angel Wolf's journey. Angel Wolf here. Today we're doing some surveying of the land. In the last episode I was hunting uh, through MC Edit some spawners and that got kind of monotonous, boring, and stressful. So it's probably going to make a little bit of a boring video. So I'm going to change it up and do something different here. So I'm going to do some surveying around my world in my 1.7.3 terrain. I'm going to be planting some sugar cane around all bodies of water, except for the one I'm standing on. I'm back at my standard base, not far from spawn. But uh, I'm going to be using sugar cane to uh, plant along large bodies of water and land masses. And I'm going to be surveying the land to see uh, how the terrain lays and if I might want to build something in that area and potentially mark it. So let's go to my underground storage, well, under base storage, excuse me, and get some sugar cane. I have some spare sugar cane from when I was doing a bunch of duping. I've got a whole chest full, but I know I've got some more around here. Oh, those are my alpha slabs. There's the extra alpha slabs. I was doing the inventory uh, dupe, but that was before beta 1.12. Not beta, but uh, release 1.12. Here they are. So let's grab my sugar canes. And we're going to be doing some surveying and some planting of the sugar cane. So, let's get started. Uh, it's always a great tactic to plant sugar cane around any large bodies of water and land masses you come across. It'll make farming sugar cane a hell of a lot easier, a hell of a lot more efficient. I mean, I'm going to build a giant sugar cane farm eventually, but uh, using uh, large bodies of water is a great place to get started. Um, so I'm not going to start around here. I'm going to start around zero, zero. So I'm going to swim back to zero, zero. We're not far from zero, zero. Not many long shot. But it's just going to take some time to get back there. That's uh, because the bridge is covered in glass. I can't exactly just take the easy way back. Oh crap. Is it becoming nighttime? It is becoming nighttime. I might want to sleep. I am kind of good at that. I don't think I gave you a good tour. I might have of my derp base. The base I started in 2011 and just used MC Edit to copy paste in this world as a little uh, uh, bonus chest of my own doing and just to have some basic supplies because I want to preserve as much of the world as possible and utilize the world as much as possible. So I'm just derping, derping around. Let's go to sleep. There we go. Some nice rest. But this is my. I'll do this eventually and give you a, a tour. But uh, let's just get back to spawn and do some surveying of the land around and plant as much sugar cane as possible. I have. 864 stacks worth. So I should be able to plant quite a bit of sugar cane. I don't know why I have the system information up. I guess I just felt like it. 
I'm about to get hungry again. And there it goes. There we go, regular F3. Uh, I actually like the F3 information. So, let's swim on back. We're only about 230-odd blocks away. Well, 230-odd meters, because Minecraft blocks are meter square. A weird but useful fact. I might cut some of this journey, I might not. I might not. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. We're just gonna swim on back. Admire the squid a little bit. But I prefer to start around zero zero and then work from there. Because there's plenty of stuff around zero zero that it'll be well utilized. It'll be almost always loaded. But it's a good it's just a good place to start from. And actually, I think I'm gonna start with spawn. Like literally near spawn. So let's go on over and start planting. This is gonna be useful regardless. So, we're just going to survey around and have a look. We already know what we're going to do here, but I'm planting it to be useful. And we're just going around. So this isn't a huge island, but it's an island nonetheless. So it's a great place to start. Spawn is always useful. If you didn't know, that giant cobblestone pillar over there is the actual spawn point. So, it's always wise to mark things like that when you're playing. That way you always know where it is, and know where you are in relation to it if you ever end up back there. This isn't necessarily a tips, tricks, or tutorial. This is more about having fun. And if you learn something, you learn something. I'm, I'm not here to truly teach you anything. I'm just playing it, enjoying it, hoping to get a job through YouTube, by being a YouTube creator. But that probably won't pan out super well. But it's a... It's a hope. It's a, it'll show the government the U.S. government, I'm trying to some degree to have an income so that they'll be more willing to give me disability for my severe medical condition. But, yeah, never. I'm a disabled individual. I have severe medical issues. I can only sit about two hours at a time. It's not fun. It's shortness of breath all kinds of other fun issues that I just don't really want to go into. Don't need to go into, you don't need to know my life story, you just need to know I'm disabled. Hmm. But this is always useful and it's a good way to survey the land, take a look around, smell a few roses, you might be able to find stuff around your world just doing this. And I haven't truly surveyed my 1.73 terrain, beta 1.73 terrain. So this is just useful to me to get a look around, see where I might want to build stuff, how I might want to build stuff there. And that's another stack down. I think Spawn Island is going to eat all my stacks, which is fine. It's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm skipping taller blocks like this, Sugar King can't be placed there. It can only be placed next to a body of water. Now it's a lot bigger than I thought. Now let me use my... Uh, 
my impact client packs to go third person and fly a little bit. Not actual flight, but survey a bit. Alright, got that bulbous area to come around. And I'm gonna come back through here. Okay, this might take our entire stacks. But it is what it is. Uh, yes. And then I get to know the layout of Spawn Island a bit. Well, Spawn. You all get to know it a little bit. I'm rambling, I don't dead air, not much to talk about. Not very useful, not very entertaining. <laughs> well, it's just me. That's all it is, just me. Bit of an introvert, so that doesn't help. <laughs> Certainly doesn't help. Coming along quite nice, and this will be very, very useful in the future for like books and for enchanting. Because you'll need books to enchant, and you can write in books if you want. It's always useful to have. The sugar cane is good for making cakes. You can turn them into sugar and pies. Like if you want to make something like pumpkin pie, but I think that's in a future version. I don't think that's in 1.12. We'll find out eventually as we explore and play. All right, we're coming up near those spars. That I marked on the bulbous end of the island. And I think a few of them have spawned. And there's also caves down there. That's just the x ray information showing me the mobs that are beneath my feet. It's great for finding caves and rooms and things like that. It'll come in handy later on when I'm hunting for strongholds and things like that. Well, I think it's going to be more than the eight stacks I have, or nine stacks I have, of sugarcane to sort out this island. But that's not so bad. Sugarcane useful. And it's something to do. I get a video out of it. You all get entertainment out of it. I don't have much to talk about. I actually kind of like how the Zero Zero base looks. But it looks a little weird with the uh, jack o' lanterns, and I'm probably going to change that. Figure out something to do. But that's a future video. That is not today's video. Today's video is monotonous. Sugar cane. And after we're done with this, we'll be able to survey when we get to the roundabout end again. How much grew while I was doing this. That does look kind of cool. Flush your world up a little bit. Alright, another stack down. We only have four more stacks to go. Will we make it around the entire island? Stay tuned, folks. Unless YouTube put a ad break in. Well, people will probably tune out after that. Oh crap. It's getting dark. Holy crap. 
question is, I don't have anything to fear, because I've got armor. But it's not fun. Darkness is not fun. Darkness is almost never fun in Minecraft. It's stressful. Stress, stressy, depressing. Creepers will ruin your day. They ruined my day more than once. More than once. Oh, a little more dead air. That's not useful. But, alright, we're making damn good progress. Damn good progress. I actually may fill the entire island. I would be proud and happy with that. Hmm. Easy sugarcane farm tutorial. Who knew? And I've known this trick for several years from watching other YouTubers. Oh. Well, the zombie ended his life. That's not the end of his life. That's not the end of his life. You're like, what the hell is that? Oh yeah. <laughs> a zombie. And I'll discuss why the zombies are touching me and dying in a later video. That's not for this video. This video is sugar kick. And surveying and exploration. Even though we've only really explored spot. But it is what it is. Ah, that is not what I wanted. That is what I wanted. Damn it. Damn this clicky. Whoops. Holy crap, I have nearly circumnavigated. I am going the other way. If I wasn't for the armor I had, maybe this would be a bad day. For any armor, it would be a bad day. It would be better to see. But, I don't want to pick up where I left off. I want to continue and continue and continue. Oh, hi, skeleton. And you had a bad day. And you had a bad day. You gonna have a bad day too? Yeah, you gonna have a bad day too. Yeah, a bad day. Anybody else wanna have a bad day? Have bad days all around. About a dozen. You get a bad, you, you get a bad day dozen. You get 13. You get 13 back. I like to go one step beyond. Yeah. More dead air. I am an introvert. I am not very talkative, but I'm having fun doing this. Yeah, somebody had a bad day. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> he tried. I'm trying. You'll regret it. I'm gonna keep ending. much progress. This is actually going to be a decent video. I mean, I'm not very talkative, but it'll be a decent video. We got extra. We'll look at those little small pockets, but we only got 64 left. So we'll find out how far we can get. I don't think I'm going to have any left over. In fact, I think I'm going to be short. 
I might get the whole island, but I think I'm going to be sure. Well, he had a bad day. That zombie had a bad day. It's not completely the continuous island, because I can only place it near next to water box or water sources. So I'm actually saving some sugar cane. I've got 24 left, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm trying, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. I mean they're spawn, but I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna have a bad day. You are gonna have a bad day. Now try it. You're gonna have you had a bad day. Oh, I didn't have enough. Have a bad day. You had a bad day. Alright. I am going to take a cut here. Get some more of my sugar cane, and I'll resume this in a little bit. Alrighty. Alright, Angel Wolf here again. Welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. I collected uh, another nine stacks of uh, sugar cane, and I'm heading back to spawn. Oh, you didn't see, need to see most of that. And we're going to continue our journey of placing sugarcane. In the old days, it was called Reeds. On Spawn Island. And we'll see what more we can do. And we'll enjoy that. Oh, he died. Oh, he died. He had a bad day. You want to have a bad day? You had a bad day. Thank you for playing. Let's just go get the skeleton residue. And get back to work, so to speak. Alright. Back to the place. Let's get this done. Let's get as much as we can done. I really gotta get a timer for my videos. That way I don't end up with cuts or anything. I try to keep them to around a half hour. It's easily digestible on YouTube. But I might end up with accidental cuts. I'll leave you on a cliffhanger in some episodes because I'm only releasing once a week. Because that's all I have capacity to do. It takes time to edit it down, make sure everything's good. So it just it is what it is. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm making excellent progress. And only in a single night. That's fantastic. Are you, are, are you having a nice time? You seem to be struggling there, bud. Are you okay? Can I help you? You need help. The, the squids in Minecraft are pretty derp. Pretty derp. Well, it's like it was only another two stacks. I didn't even have to grab nine. But, that leaves more for another video. Because I've still got a lot of surveying to do. Wow. Nearly. Nearly nine stacks. Er, Oh, now I've trapped myself here. I am a genius. 
I'm just... There's the small ground. Huh. That's okay. That is absolutely okay. Like it never happened. Like it never happened. Let's go in the inventory, get some of our sand. Oh, oh but it was eight. Like, Alright. We'll sort that out. Alright, I'm gonna leave you off here. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get uh, access to the video one day early. You get a producer credit. And you get to help me build and design uh, things in my world that I need help with. But I'm only accepting that from Patreon supporters. Uh, thank you.